they're just going to have to see more production across the board. Their bench production has been up and down this year, and it's going to have to be one through the rest of the rotation. The first shot brought in by Jordan Hawks. And right away, we saw that hard hedge that Michigan is known for on the ball and how they defend ball screens. Lauren Hansen shakes her defender and drains the mid-range. When you score that few points. She was the, the first to admit. Defense is great. Michigan leading 11 to two here at home and adding more Alyssa Bretz. Already Rutgers tinkering with its lineup on the floor. Multiple substitutions. Another three just falls in. Kyra Evans, lots of black jerseys around her. Michigan patient in its offense. Hobbs launches from three, four for four as a squad here in the first. Is that type of movement without the ball? I think that's the third or fourth layup that Rutgers has missed right there at the rim. Cam Schrader looking for another three. She's got it. Hobbs along the baseline. Beautiful reverse finish. Any one of those performances would have been career making for, for a lot of players. But yet, there we're talking about Hannah Stolke. Forcing it up and in, Destiny Adams. He's a Gophers team that's lost five straight, and they're trying to keep their tourney hope strong as well. Good dish, post to post, and one. But Cameron Williams, it looked like she was just going to float right to two. Lob into Cameron Williams. Beautiful finish. The go-to player gets it right back. Swings to Hansen. Yes, for three. Some full court pressure from Rutgers here, trying to disrupt the Wolverines and set a wide open three for Brett, and she sends it home. Bates with two seconds left. Adams has to throw it up, and she sinks it. No good from the mid-range there. That was another thing. Wolverines did so well, shutting out this great offensive rebounding squad, and they're sharing the ball just as well. Nearly 18 points per game, 40% shooting, so a big miss today. But you wouldn't know it. Lauren Hansen drilling the three for the Wolverines. Taylor Woodson trying to corral this possession. Gets it over her shoulder to Hobbs, under 10 to shoot. Solom across the paint and the finish by Brett. Cameron Williams calling forward a little traffic for the Wolverines. Here is Hobbs for three. Bates responds back in front of her own bench. The women's basketball community was rocked. With, with her loss, along with Tasha Butts at Georgetown, two former Lady Vols. You can't imagine an NCAA tournament that does not have a Maryland or Brenda Freeze coach team in it. It'll be interesting to see how things shake out. That's why February is so important. It's pretty nice. Melissa Crockett getting her first action, and Cameron Williams has done that all day long. 23 points. You're right about Thompson. That's something Coach Washington has talked about, both her and Herter. Finally understanding the speed of the game here in the Big Ten. Two on one, Hobbs. How it turns out as we get closer and closer to Paris. If I'm a player on either one of these teams and on my coaching staff is a national team member. Stuck, surrounded inside, Hobbs wide. Open three. She's got 16. And Coach Barnes Rico has been looking for other players to step up. And sometimes that takes confidence, and it sometimes it comes, you have to be pushed to do that. And we saw that tonight. Cam Trades. They can score. Michigan with its most points in a Big Ten game this season is trying to cool well. Final seconds here in Ann Arbor. And that will close things out.
Michigan puts on a clinic on their home court.